Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to uh, to use the basic Linux tools, which are ba uh, PuTTY, um, Linux basic commands, Pico, and C++. So let's take a look at what we have here. If you don't have PuTTY on your machine, you can download it, but you should have PuTTY somewhere on your uh, either on your desktop. I have it right here, or uh, you might have it uh, in your in your um, Windows. Uh, start button. If you don't see it anywhere, you can just type putty in the search box like that, and it should come up with this terminal emulation software. And what it allows you to do is to, to log on to another computer besides the one you're typing into, but it's as if you're at that other computer. So the computer we want to log on to is the Saginaw Valley State University Computer uh, Science and Information Systems Server. Or CSIS. Now I have it preloaded right here, but you can uh, you can just type in CSIS.svsu.edu into the host name box here, and if you type that in there, that'll also get you to that server. You can do this at home, or you can do it here on campus. So let's go ahead and open that up, and what you're going to see is this login screen. Now I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it's easier for you guys to see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Change Settings. I'm going to go to Appearance here. And I'm going to click on this Change button. And when I go into the fonts, I can change that to whatever size I want. I'll just make it uh, size 20, and then I'll apply that. And now you can see it's a little bit nicer. Um, you, can, you can read it a little bit easier. So when you log in, you just type in your username. And it'll give you a big, long message. Um, just to verify the authorization. When you type your password in, nothing will happen. You won't see anything on the screen, but it is it is getting your password. So type your password in. And what it'll, it'll do is it'll tell you what your last login was, what time and date it was, and what IP address you logged in from. And um, it's not a bad idea to keep your eye on that because you should know your own IP address at home, and you should know the school's IPs and so you'll know if somebody else is trying to log into your system. So let's just kind of look here at some of the basic, so that's basically how you use PuTTY. Nutshell. Now we're into Linux. So let's take a look at how we use Linux. The commands that I want to show you today are just the, 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 the bare bones minimum commands needed to write the Hello World program. So here's the first thing that you that you probably will do when you log in is you type ls to see what subdirectories you've got. In my case, I've got CIS355, which is another class I'm teaching, CS116, which is this class, and some other directories. We're, we're only worried about the CS116, uh, and so let's, I'm going to do CD CS116. What that means is I'm going to uh, change directory. CD means change directory. LS just means list, list files. Directories are kinds of files in Linux. So here we go. We're now in, in CS116. Now, if you're not sure what directory you're in, you can kind of look at this path here, and it tells you somewhat. Um, you can also do PWD, which is Print Working Directory. Normally, you're going to want to be in the CS116 uh, directory. So if I do an LS of that directory, there's a whole bunch of files in there, um, none of which are really important for this exercise. What I want to do is I want to make a new directory because I'm going to make a new program. The program is going to be Hello World. So I'm going to do mkdir, that means make directory, and I'm going to call this directory hello. So mkdir hello. Whoops, it already exists. Well, I'm going to delete it then. rmdir. I did this to practice to make sure it would work. Hello. I won't remove it because I've got files in there. I'll show you how to delete these things. I only have two two files, sorry, CD, what, CS116, CD, hello. I did this exercise already, and so I've got a dot out. I'm going to go ahead and delete those by doing remove, rm, a dot out, and then rm, uh, hello.cpp. I just removed those files. Now I'm going to do cd dot dot, which will take me up to the parent directory. And then I will do rmdir hello. So now we're back to where 
you guys should be right now. You're about to create your hello directory. So let's create it. We do mkdir hello. What does this do? It creates the directory hello. Now if I do ls, you'll see there is a hello directory there. When it's blue, it means that there's a directory. Now if we go to the, the hello directory, we do cd hello, change directory hello. If I do pwd, now you can see the working directory is the, the whole path. Home GP Courser CS116 hello. If I do ls, we'll see there's no files in this directory. Why? Because we just created it. There's nothing in there yet. Well, I'm going to create a file. Now, this is where we start the discussion of Pico. There's a bunch of different text editors. You need to use text editors instead of like word processors to write program code because word processors put a bunch of other things inside there that are not useful for the, for the compiler. So we're just going to use this, this one called Pico. And what we do is we uh, just type Pico, P-I-C-O, and then the, the file we want to create. In this case, it's going to be hello.cpp. When we create that, we're going to have this window pop up. And it's basically a, pl a place you can just type anything you want to type. But we're not going to type anything we want to type. We're going to type a, the Hello World C++ program. So here's what we're going to do. We do pound include, and we've done this 100 times in class probably already. And we're going to pound include IO stream, which is the library that includes, this is for C out and end line. And then we're going to do int main, which is what you need to do for uh, a C++ program. And we will um, put the braces in there. And I like to put the return zero right away. We need to return an int because this is an int. We want to return an int. You can't use your mouse in this program. You have to do everything by the keyboard. So now all I'm going to do is print hello world. So how do I print? We use C out. C out hello world. And I like to get into the habit of putting end lines at the end because I always forget them if I don't do it, make a habit of it. So now we've printed hello world and end line. Now the, the we did not use, we did not put in here using namespace std. That is, we need that to uh, prevent writing std double colon in front of everything, like C out and end line. That's why we need that. These are comments here. The red, the red is comments. The sky blue is a preprocessor directive. Uh, the yellow is uh, either a library or a text string. And so that's this little green space there just means there's an extra space at the end of the line. So basically, this here is our C++ program, and we've we've written it using Pico. At the one of the good things for beginners with this Pico is at the bottom of the screen it has the commands that are available to you. So like for example, Control K is cut, Control U is uncut, paste. That can be handy, um, but there's a lot of things like that. Anyway, so let's let's go ahead and save this file and then compile it. So I'm going to save the file. To save it, I do Control O, and you'll see that the name of the file comes at the bottom of the screen here, and then we hit Enter, and then now it's saved. If I do Control X, I'm back to my Linux command line. Now to compile it, we just do C++ the program file that we just made. So in this case, it's C++ hello.cpp. If we typed everything correctly, it should just compile and give us no, no uh, message. In Linux, typically, if there's no message, it's good news. Nothing happened wrong. The, the only time you'll get a message is if there's something ha happens wrong. So now if we do ls, we'll see we've got two files. We've got the a.out file, which was the out the uh, executable file made by the C++ compiler. And then we have the hello.cpp file, which was made by Pico. So we can make as many files as we want using Pico, and we can compile the, the C++ files using C++ compiler. There's also G++ compiler, but we'll just focus on C++.
So now if we want to run the program and see if it works, we just do dot slash a dot out. And it works. It gave us this output hello world. So now you know how to use uh, uh, putty. You know how to use Linux, the basic commands, and then you know how to use Pico and the C++ compiler. Uh, the one last command that I will give you is how to exit out of PuTTY, and uh, and then we'll hopefully this lesson here was helpful for you. But exit out of PuTTY, you just exit and you're back to your original screen. So hope that helped, and we'll get on to the next.